San Diego Unified is expanding its uh, science, technology, engineering, arts, and math programs, also known as STEAM. All right, Elizabeth Alvarez is at Montgomery Middle School with how they plan to do that. Hey, Liz. Hi, Liz. <laughs> hey, good morning, you guys. Look at this. This is dry basil. Basil that was grown in this aquaponics lab. They're drying it out. It smells really good, considering the fact that they use tilapia waste to help feed the plants here, the basil plants that are growing back there. And I'm inside kind of getting more of a tour with uh, Isabella from San Diego Unified. Hi, Isabella. This is Robert from California Coast Credit Union who is helping out the school district in a very big way, offering grants to teachers to expand their STEAM program. And this aquaponics lab is just an example of what, can, what a school can do and how students can learn. And and how science, technology, engineering, arts and math can really be fun. Isn't that neat? Absolutely. And this is exactly why we want to help put more steam into the classroom because these projects are hands-on, the kids learn a lot, and it leads to green jobs and where the jobs are now in the economy. Very, very important. So we're hanging out here at Montgomery Middle School. Much more this hour right here on Good Morning San Diego, guys. We'll send it back to you for now. We'll talk to some students in a little bit. All right. Uh, Thank so you. Great. Today's fantastic. All right, Sandy Unified School District is expanding its STEAM programs for the next school year. So Elizabeth Alvarez has been hanging out uh, in Linda Vista with more on this. Good morning, yes, Liz. Lynn. We're going live right now. Too. You're live, You're right, live right, right now. Hey, good morning. <laughs> Hi, I'm sorry. I'm getting a lesson here by our resource teacher, uh, Ms. Emmeline. Good morning to you. How are you? Good morning. How are you guys? I'm good. Good, good. Uh, listen, you were just explaining to me because I asked her, I said, you know, are there other schools that have an aquaponics lab? And you said there are some, but a lot of times teachers start small, like by using an aquarium. They use an aquarium. You can do a aquaponics system in your classroom with the 20 gallon aquarium and then what you do is you take this setup but it's on a smaller scale and it sits on top of the aquarium and you can have I think about maybe 10 of these little grow pockets yeah like see this this is yeah. this is strawberries That's strawberry. this yeah. is a strawberry plant so they could grow you could just use goldfish that in a 20 gallon aquarium but I got I tell you, this is impressive. I mean, you have a full-blown aquaponics lab, courtesy of USD, right? They built this. Yep, USD, USD and Kids Eco Club. They did a matching grant. They built this beautiful greenhouse for us, and then I wrote the grant and Eco Life System. Eco Life, and just you know, I got to give a plug yeah. because they are amazing. The folks at Eco Life, and they came and they taught the kids. There's a video on our school website. Yeah. You need to watch the kids building this. Well, it's, this is this is impressive. I got to tell you, and the reason why we're here is because this is just an example of one of the many projects, the STEAM projects that are out there that schools here within the San Diego Unified School District have an opportunity now more than ever to to have something like this because 10 million dollars is coming coming to the San Diego Unified School Dist District and federal funds. So number one, that's going to help. And number two, there are grants out there for teachers, teachers like you, Miss em Emmeline, yes. who uh, can apply through the California Coast Credit Union to get grants. I mean, this is something that you're like, I'm going to apply. I am definitely going to write it. And the thing about it is we're growing food and we're teaching kids how to grow food, but you have to eat the food that you grow. Mm -hmm. So we have a kitchen. And so our next step is the kids being able to learn how to cook and prepare the some recipes from what they grow. Look like, at this. This is basil this that is was basil. grown through this yes. aquaponics lab. Come on. Wouldn't you like to make a caprese salad with the basil that you grew, the tomatoes that you grew? That's awesome. Is, I mean, it's... There's nothing like what you grow. I know, and, and, and Miss uh, Emmeline was uh, was telling me about a mango salsa that you guys grew here okay, in the garden. Well, here's the deal: we have a peach tree, and the peach tree. Oh, not mango, a peach. Okay, peach. Well, we no. took we took the, we did a little twist on a mango salsa. Yeah. Our peach tree was full of peaches this year. So what we did is we thought, hmm. What are we going to do with peaches besides baked peach pie? Although we do have ovens, so here's yeah. the deal. Chop them up, a little, we grew cilantro, we had some onions in the garden. We made the best peach salsa. You've got to try it. Oh, I cannot wait.
Thank you so much, Miss Emmeline, for sharing this with us. Again, this aquaponics lab, this outdoor science lab, just an example of what schools here within the San Diego Unified School District can now get thanks to, once again, grants that are out there from California Coast Credit Union if teachers apply for them, and also the $10 million for this next school year that is coming to many schools within the San Diego Unified School District. There's nothing so like I think actually that's pretty seeing. cool. I'm thinking it's amazing. Guys, back it's to you. It's so great to see it all kind of happen, right? I mean, yeah. kids love that kind of stuff. Oh, look at all the skills yeah. that they get to learn, that yeah. they get to take back with them and use later on in their life. I mean, that's the whole point of all of this. Thank it's you, Liz. Cool. Thanks, Liz.